Patty Jenkins is the director of Wonder Woman 1984, the sequel to Wonder Woman, and that comes out in June. And, you know, we don't really know much about that movie yet, but the director already says that she already has plans or is thinking about where she wants to go with Wonder Woman 3. Wonder Woman 3 has not been greenlit yet, but we know it probably will. I mean, Wonder Woman 1984 is probably going to make a lot of money, barring, you know, a surprising upset of whatever kind. So, you know, Warner Brothers is going to probably make a Wonder Woman 3, but they have to wait just to be sure until they see how much Wonder Woman 1984, you know, makes. And, you know, if Wonder Woman 1984 does well, they're probably going to ask Patty Jenkins to come back and do the whole trilogy herself, just like she did the first two Wonder Woman movies. Here is a quote that she gave. She was promoting a series that she's doing called I Am The Night that I think also stars Chris Pine, you know, who plays Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman movies. Here's what she says. I have pretty clear plans for Wonder Woman 3, whether I direct it or not. I see how her arc should end in my incarnation of Wonder Woman. I have a great passion for that. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, she's going to be directing Wonder Woman 3. She's going to negotiate for more money, probably, just like she did when she did Wonder Woman 1984. You know, she did Wonder Woman, the first one. That was a big hit. And so she was holding out for more money. They gave it to her, so she came back to do Wonder Woman 2, which is 1984. And it's probably going to be the same story for Wonder Woman 3, you know, if unless her contract already, you know, includes how much she'll get paid for Wonder Woman 3 if they make it. But anyhow, I'm wondering, what is Patty Jenkins going to do with Wonder Woman 3? I think that she's going to, of course, one thing you can't expect, which is a no-brainer, she's going to complete a lot of the things that have already been set up in the previous movies. For one thing, in the first Wonder Woman, it was established that Wonder Woman as a demigoddess hadn't really understood or fully explored the use of her powers yet. You know, when she was fighting Ares, he was, you know, taunting her, basically, t basically telling her she has a lot to learn. You know, she has a lot of these abilities that she doesn't really know how to use yet. And it's weird because Wonder Woman is like, has been around for hundreds of years and she still doesn't really know <laughs> how to use her fullest powers to their potential. Yeah, she's had a long time to do it, right? So I think that in the third movie, if we don't see it start to happen in the second movie that doesn't come out yet, we're going to see Wonder Woman probably use more like godlike power. Maybe, you know, she'll learn how to fly as she knows how to do in the comics and in the Justice League Unlimited cartoon. Maybe Wonder Woman will be flying around the screen, you know, kind of the way Superman does. She does have that power in the comics in a lot of times, and she has yet to use it, but I think she has the ability to fly and do lots of things because she is, as Ares told her, and she discovered in the first Wonder Woman that she is a demigoddess and she has godlike powers. Also, I think Wonder Woman will probably meet more Greek gods, including her father Zeus, whom she still hasn't met yet. I know he's supposed to be like dead or whatever because I think in the first Wonder Woman they were gonna they were supposed they basically said that like a lot of the old Greek gods are dead but these are movies and they're gods you know they'll probably come back I mean it would be weird to establish Wonder Woman having a father who's a Greek god whom she never meets you know Zeus the king of the gods whom she gets a lot of her lightning based powers from she has to meet him and there's an unresolved you know drama there you know she is the daughter of a mortal woman, Hippolyta, and a Greek god, you know, she has to meet both of her parents. I mean, there's drama between, you know, I am part god, part human, you know, between two worlds, that kind of thing. They have to play that out. <laughs> and I think to do that, they need her father to be around. And so I think that in Wonder Woman 3, he's got to show up. Or maybe he's going to show up in Wonder Woman 1984. We haven't seen Wonder Woman 1984 yet, so we don't know what's going to happen. So I think those are two things that we will see by the time Wonder Woman 3 comes around. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, DC will probably want to continue with the Wonder Woman character beyond that. Have her show up, you know, in more movies and probably maybe in other people's movies. I know Toby Emmerich said a little while ago, he, they're less focused on a shared universe. But I don't think that they can have realistically all these superheroes existing in the same world and not interacting anymore. I mean, I think fans will demand it. I think they're going to have to have them get together again. And I don't see any reason why we can't have Wonder Woman appearing, at least as a cameo in somebody else's movie. Especially since she's such a big character. Why wouldn't she show up in somebody's movie? Especially if she's already met. They already got the Justice League together. She's presumably friends with like Superman and Batman and The Flash. She's never going to talk to them again. <laughs> so, you know. That's what I think they're going to do with the future Wonder Woman movies. And of course, Gal Gadot is probably going to try to negotiate for like more and more money as they keep using her character more and more and relying on her as the actress to keep on doing it. 
And if, you know, if Gal Gadot does more movies outside of DC, better successful, you know, she'll become a bigger star. And of course, will require more money to do things. Her pay rate will go up. So those are my predictions for what we'll probably see in Wonder Woman 3 and future Wonder Woman appearances in the DCEU. What do you think? What do you think we're going to see in Wonder Woman 3? Maybe, do you think I'm wrong? Or do you think, and what do you think beyond what I've mentioned here? What else might we see in those movies? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.